Good morning, happy travelers. Greetings from the Virgin Islands. If you're just joining us, we have been on St. Thomas for the last couple of days. We are leaving this island and heading over to St. John. We changed our plans a little bit and decided to take the car ferry instead of renting a car over on St. John just because we love our little island truck so much. So we have come over to the town of Red Hook, which is on the far eastern side of St. Thomas. And we're waiting in line to get on the car ferry. And I think it takes about a half an hour. Yeah, there's a couple different ferries that run. We don't have any reservations. We heard that they would just take you if you pulled up. So fingers crossed that is the case. But there's also a ferry that just takes people if you don't have a car, so you can do that. And the schedules are a little weird ever since the hurricanes and COVID. So we decided instead of trying to plan it all out, we would just show up and hopefully it'll work out. Fingers crossed. The other ferry went and another one came and they're loading it up. This is a very like unorganized process. There's not very many great instructions, so. Yeah, I think that this one's all full and we're gonna have to wait for the next one to come. Yes, we have to reverse onto the ferry, which is fun. We had to pay a $4 port fee to get to this point and then we pay our ferry fee, I guess, once we get on the boat. Round trip, $50 and one way I want to say it's $35 and I'm not sure if you pay round trip if you have to go on that same ferry company. There's not a lot of information about this so we're just kind of winging it at this point. They've lined up three rows of cars. The first ferry has already left, so we're just waiting on the next one to arrive, and then we will all cram on there like a game of Tetris. They're directing us onto the ferry right now. Luckily, we were the first car to get on after this big semi truck, so we're basically just backing straight up. officially on the ferry. Basically just had to back up uh, straight in, which is good because some of the other cars we saw on the last ferry, the last ones that got on had to kind of wedge in where there was available space. We are very, very, very tight in here though. The car next to us is about six inches away, so Kevin did a fantastic job. We have a nice view anyway. We have pushed back and we are on our way to St. John. All in all, I think it was about two hours from when we arrived till when we actually left. That included waiting in line, getting in position, waiting for the new barge to come, and then finally getting everything loaded and pushed back. We didn't have a reservation like we said, but I really don't see how that process would have gone any differently if we had had a reservation. No, I think it was better this way too because we could just get on whatever barge came. So I would recommend if you're going to do it, just show up and don't book a reservation in advance. Just pay when you get on. And there are a few different barge companies. We just got on the first one that could take us. I don't really know how it would work if you had a reservation for a particular barge company. Nobody asked us if we had any reservations or checked or anything. So this worked out just fine. And we ended up paying a one way, which was $35 instead of $50 for round trip, just so we could get on the first barge that we can get on when we come back. It's 20 or 30 minutes to get to St. John, so we'll see you there. We're in Cruise Bay right now. Parking is pretty difficult to find. All the streets are very narrow, but we managed to find a spot and we are having lunch by the water at a place called High Tide. And I think after this, we're gonna go check into our Airbnb. Food has arrived. We went for a grilled mahi sandwich and coconut shrimp, so. All about that seafood. That's right.
Well, that was tasty. This is a pretty cool spot. It's called High Tide in Cruise Bay, if you're ever on St. John. And I think our next step is to go check into our Airbnb. We have an Airbnb on the island for four nights, and I think we're gonna be doing some pretty epic beach hopping while we're here. All right, we wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of our Airbnb. This is called The Bunkhouse at Treetops, and we will go ahead and link it into the description if you wanna check out this Airbnb specifically. Um, it's a really small room, but it's perfect for what we need, so. Queen size bed right here. We've got a little mini fridge. They even put a couple beers in there, which is always a nice little touch. Little TV with a DVD player. I don't know if we're gonna use that too much. Over here we've got a little shower. And in this other room, there is a whole nother bed that we have used to just put all of our junk on. Hi Kelly. And a little sink and toilet. This property has a bunch of different Airbnbs. So this is a little smaller and um, kind of tucked underneath the main house, but it's perfect for what we need. If you look outside, it's got these big screen doors and there's a great little garden out there too with a little hammock. All right, so we're finally leaving the Airbnb after a couple hours at least, but we're gonna need some food soon and we wanna do it while it's light out. Well, we kind of let the day get away from us today. It just was a little exhausting between trying to get the car ferry and then figuring out our Airbnb here in St. John. Tomorrow, we're gonna go check out some of the best beaches on St. John. There are a ton of them and maybe some sugar plantation ruins because there's a ton of those on this island as well. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video and hit the thumbs up to let us know you like this one and we will see you tomorrow. This is Kelly from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We have pushed back and we are on our way to St. John. Oh my god, we're driving in the water. Backwards. Ah. This is an amphibious truck. <laughs>